Okay, everyone, get ready for this. You know what time it is. It's Agatha Christie time. That's right, folks. We're diving into the latest adaptation of one of the Queen of Crime's most brilliant stories, Towards Zero. And let me tell you, this is going to be big. I mean, big. You might remember that the BBC has given us some absolute gems when it comes to Agatha Christie adaptations. Last year, we had Murder is Easy, and this year, they're back with Towards Zero. But what makes Toward Zero so special? Well, let's get into it. First, let's start with the incredible cast. We've got none other than the fabulous Angelica Houston. Yes, you heard that right. The Oscar winner herself is playing the formidable Camilla, Lady Tresilian. And if there's one thing we know about Houston, it's that she brings class, elegance, and a deliciously dark edge to every role she tackles. She's perfect for this role. In fact, here's what Angelica Houston had to say about it herself. She said, I have long been a fan of Agatha Christie and the murder, mystery genre, and always love the opportunity to film in England. I am thrilled to be working with director Sam Yates and this wonderful cast, and excited to play the clever and dignified Camilla, Lady Tresillian. Ooh, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. And let's not forget, Houston has done it all, from the Adams family to the Grifters, and she's going to absolutely crush it as Lady Tresillian. We can already picture the tension she's going to bring to this coastal estate full of secrets. Now, alongside Houston, we've got an absolutely stacked cast. Seriously, it's a who's who of powerhouse talent. We've got Oliver Jackson, Cohen. Yes, that Oliver Jackson, Cohen from The Haunting of Hill House, He's playing the troubled tennis star Neville Strange, who has some serious unfinished business with his ex-wife Audrey, played by Ella Lily Highland. And wait for it. Neville's new wife Kay, played by Mimi Keane from Sex Education, is also at Gull's Point this summer, making everything about 1,000 more awkward and heated. You've got this explosive love triangle, plus all these other characters who have some very shady pasts and hidden agendas. And guess what? It's all taking place under the roof of Lady Tresillian's estate. Picture it now, a grand, sweeping mansion on the cliffs of Devon, surrounded by misty shores, where tension is just waiting to boil over. This isn't just your typical murder mystery. It's a psychological thriller, a deep dive into jealousy, lies, and hidden desire. The story is set in 1936, right in the heart of the 1930s glamour, but don't be fooled by the glitz. This is a dark, twisted tale, and everyone has secrets. So what's the setup, you ask? We've got Neville Strange and his ex-wife, Audrey, making the very questionable decision to spend the summer at their childhood home, Gull's Point, which just happens to be where Neville's current wife, Kay, is also staying. Why would you do that? Who thought that were a good idea? Let me tell you, nothing good is coming from that decision. But that's not all. Throw in a long-suffering lady's companion, an exiled cousin with a serious grudge, a family lawyer who knows a bit too much, a French conman, because why not? And even an inquisitive orphan. Basically, it's a house full of suspects. And then, of course, someone gets murdered. Yep, yep. And the question is, who did it? And, maybe more importantly, who's next? This is where the drama really takes off. The BBC has described it as a toxic web of jealousy, deceit, and dysfunction. There's unfinished business between these characters, deep-seated emotions that have been festering for years, and a detective with his own troubles who must figure out what's going on before more bodies start piling up. And let me remind you about the cast. We've got Matthew Riz, yes, from the Americans, bringing his Emmy-winning talent into this mix. He's playing one of the key roles, and when Matthew Rees is evolved, you know things are about to get intense. And Clark Peters from The Wire. Oh, you better believe this is going to be a masterclass in acting. Now, let's talk a bit about the people behind the scenes. This adaptation is being written by Rachel Bennett, who was nominated for a BAFTA, and she's totally in her element here. Rachel says the characters in this story are the richest and most complex of Christie's creations, and she's thrilled to be bringing them to life on screen. She also adds that this is a story of truth and lies, love and hate, and honestly, it couldn't feel more relevant today. This isn't just a dusty old mystery novel from 1944. Oh, no. 
This is timeless drama, folks, and it's as gripping now as it was back then. And then there's Sam Yates, the director. This guy has won an Olivier Award. Yeah, we're talking top-tier talent here. Sam said he wanted to bring out the e-psychological and sensual aspects of Christie's story, and I'm so here for it. He said that the audiences are in for a propulsive, intoxicating ride, and that is exactly what we're going to get. Now you're probably wondering, when can we expect to see towards zero? Well, it's expected to air on BBC One this Christmas. That's right. What better way to wrap up the holidays than with a three-part murder mystery? And if you're in the US, you can catch it on BritBox. The tension, the drama, the twists, it's all coming to you in just a few months. So, mark your calendars, folks. This one is going to be epic. Agatha Christie fans, mystery lovers, drama addicts, this is the show for you. It's got glamour, danger, and a cast that is just wow. Towards Zero is said to be one of the most talked about dramas of the year. And don't forget, as always, we'll be breaking down all the twists and turns as soon as the series drops, so make sure you subscribe to stay in the loop. What do you think? Are you excited for Towards Zero? Let me know in the comments below.